we are headed down this beautiful scenic road to our fishing spot. I can't wait. Beautiful kettle moraine. What is up YouTube? Today we are here. As you know, I live in the woods and I love it. So today we are gonna go down the road and see if we can catch some rainbow trout in the hilly mountains of Wisconsin. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, as we leave our spot, just put it in gear and we are driving. Gonna drive about five minutes down the road. I, mean, I passed it about an hour ago and I saw some disruptions on the surface, which indicated to me right away that those are rainbow trout. So today we're gonna go over, make a few casts and see if we can catch some rainbow trout, uh, Kettle Moraine Forest Preserve. Um, I'll give you more specifics when we get to the spot. I've never been there. I just driven by it a few times. But today we are going to go out of our way to make sure that we fish it. Tonight we have, uh, I don't even know, I think it's four to eight inches of snow moving in. We are almost in April, but <laughs> We have some more snow coming in, so we're gonna head over there, we're gonna do that. Um, I don't have any flies or anything like that, just gonna try to mimic a minnow, try to get their predator instincts stirred up so they can chase. Once they start chasing, I have a good feeling I might be able to catch some oh, rainbow trout. Only a catch and release fishery, one of the most scenic and beautiful places I've ever been. All right, we're coming off to our little turn in here. We are here, and that is the lake, little lake right there. We have another little one over there, but we're gonna stay and focus on the one over here. Gonna start out mimicking a minnow. There's the beautiful spot right there behind me. Crystal, crystal clear water. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get one of these finicky trout. All right, guys, so we got a lot of disturbance right here already, and then we got this water running in over here to our left it is really really cool it's hard to see with the glare from this side but i can see it's very shallow and really weedy i think we're going to walk around on that other side see if i can get a better uh view of things well i mean it creaks up going this way guys literally turns into a small creek which runs forever but we have a small pool here and then we got that waterfall that's at the entrance where I walked in at. That's why it seems like this is a popular spot. We just have to figure out where these fish are sitting. It is freezing cold out here. Temperature is dropping. I could feel it. My fingertips especially. But we're gonna keep casting and see if we can catch anything. We're not about that skunk life. It is chilly. Very chilly. See, there's that guy that's from my What is that? There's a There's a fish that swam out over here. I'm just trying to see what it is because it definitely was not a trout. Oh, I got it, whatever it was. Yeah. What is this? Wait, what? What? What is this, guys? Guys, I know this sounds crazy, but did I just catch my first Wisconsin muskie? Look, he's got a little tiny black stripe right under his eye, which is so awesome. This is not a northern pike, guys. This has to be a fingerling muskie. Look, he's got 
little black stripes on both sides of his eye. Look at this thing. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Isn't that amazing? What do you guys think? Musky? Is this my first Wisconsin musky? <laughs> first Wisconsin micro musky? I'm out here trying to get trout. I caught a little musky. I'm pretty sure that's a little musky. We're gonna let him go where he belongs. Oh, what a beautiful place for musky. Boy, what a beautiful place for musky. There he goes. So with that, guys, I'm gonna have to say that there may be some big musky swimming around in here maybe even northern or bigger bigger predator fish because what i'm finding is there are trout scattered out um in the open water but i see bluegill and other little tiny fish literally as far as they can get into the shallows into the shallows it reminds me of bussy arlington heights pool there was a lot of musky that lived in that pool so the bluegill would literally just stay i mean i'm talking inches from the water guys this is promising very promising we're right off a highway here it's literally a pool, way shallower than what I remember at Bussy, but, um, you know, we're out here in Wisconsin and uh, beautiful crystal clear water out here doing a video, trying to mimic a minnow. That's all we're trying to do here is just mimic a minnow and that musky freaking hit, which is awesome because I needed something, but we're still trying to get that trout, guys. So let's stay tuned and uh, keep this going. Yeah, yeah, no skunk, baby, no skunk. Let's go. There we go, guys. Got something. We got something here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's a largemouth bass. Largemouth bass. So there's other species of fish. Definitely mixed in with the bunch here, guys. We're catching the usual culprits. Well, muskie was a nice one. But now we got a largemouth bass here. All right, guys, right now we're walking down this path, and let me tell you, <laughs> especially because we've already been in the 60s, 70 degrees this year. I mean, we had two days. I did primitive camping with my shirt off. <laughs> we're not in April yet, even. Um, today is about 41 degrees. We're dropping to about the 28 just within the next few hours. Um, the biggest temp drop is while I'm here, actually. It's only about 15 degrees, but boy, am I feeling it. I didn't wear my thermals or anything like that. Um, typically, you know, temp drops like this will turn the fish off, but uh, felt like it not today, and that's what we did, guys. You can see right off the highway on Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive. Um, drove by this place once, and I was like, that looks cool. Drove by it again. I seen a fish surface and I was like, have to check it out. I came down, I saw trout. Um, they have a uh, catch and release trout program where they stock, I think they apparently stock trout here. Um, but a very active forest. There's going to be some learning curves, you know, obviously with the new water, the new surroundings, the new terrain, there's going to be some learning curves. But I'm having fun out here living in the woods. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Be sure to Hit that like button. Send this video to a friend because if they don't like fishing, you and I both know they're about to. Let's go. Thank you for watching. Happy fishing. Peace. All right, guys, we did not get what we intended to as far as trout, but I was also unaware that there was other fish in here besides trout because majority of these hills that we've hiked through, all we see is trout in these streams. But today we were able to yield a, a muskie. You can confirm that in the comments, but I'm pretty confident that that is a muskie and a largemouth bass out here in this beautiful oasis, Wisconsin, guys. 
It's going to be a few learning curves while we're out here. New water. But fish all eat the minnows. I don't think it'll take long for us to figure it all out. Thank you guys for watching. We avoided a skunk. Please subscribe. We'll see you guys next week with another Geofishing exclusive. Peace. That thing is a natural spring that's spewing up water from the ground, like lava, but water. Isn't that beautiful? Out here in Wisconsin doing some fishing videos. Look at that.